Hi guys, um, I've got some really good news today. I've finally got um, the Hot Toys figure I've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, some of the, you know, the some of you that know me um, know that I petitioned for this figure way back in uh, September of 2009. Um, it didn't get made that at, at that time. The T2 was chosen, but uh, um, it, it finally was made, uh, much to my happiness. And um, I've, I've got it here now for review. It's of course. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator from the uh, 1984 movie of the same name. And I'm going to tell you what I think of it. So as you can see, as I've, I've always said about 1-6 uh, Bruce's packaging, absolutely fantastic. Make sure that um, there's no damages at all. Uh, it, it's really well packaged. And I just want to point out about this uh, Terminator figure. Uh, I'm going to check out here. <coughs> It is still available to order on One Six Bruce's site. Um, so, anyone out there in the UK or in Europe who wants this figure, I will rec I will tell you now. You're going to need to get this figure ASAP, and especially for One Six Bruce, because you won't get um, a better price, especially when you consider you know all the uh, prices are going up now and uh, the uh, taxes and everything that's uh, going to be involved, like 20% VAT if you get caught in customs. So uh, I recommend you go on his site and you snap up the remaining figures because it's not going to last long. Anyway, I'm going to just get all this stuff off and show you off the, show off the figure. Okay guys, I'm really pleased. I've got um, another little gift given to me here. Um, this is the 1-6 Bruce, Bruce Lee logo and um, it's, it's ingrained in a, a type of wood material and um, it's got Bruce Lee's birth date and uh, day, the day he sadly passed away um, and uh, I just love this logo, it's one of my favourite um, pictures of Bruce Lee, absolutely fantastic and uh, it's got a quote from Bruce Lee here on the back just you wait, I'm going to be the biggest Chinese star in the world um, and uh, it's got here in the bottom, in commemoration of the 70th anniversary of Bruce Lee, One Six Bruce and Woody Incorporated offer this small gift as a token of our appreciation and uh, yeah um, definitely check out Woody's stuff, he does some fantastic uh, um, stuff for 1-6 Bruce um, new stuff coming up all the time um, there's going to be a really cool addition for the uh, one quarter scale, scale Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee coming soon so be sure to check that out anyway let's have a look at the box <coughs> And it's very nice, it's um, very simple. Um, we've seen it all before. I mean, a lot of other people have shown off the box and given their opinions. It's a nice box, but uh, it's more about what's inside that matters. Um, yeah, it's a nice. I like this on picture on the side, that's nice, that's cool. But let's get it open. Okay, as you can see, it's like, as you've seen before. Not pan back here. It slides off up like that. Just to, re to reveal the figure there. Um, it should be a quicker video this, because um, unlike uh, like with War Machine and uh, um, the T1000, it's pretty much set up the way I want it to look. So I'll show off the extras, but I won't be putting any bits and bobs on. You know, new heads on, new arms on, because I really want to just keep it the way it is. Um, I'll probably just put the gun in his hand. Okay, so I've just opened the box and I'm hit with this lovely new toy smell, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, sorry about my breathing, guys. I'm, I'm suffering a bit today with my breathing, but uh, I, I have slight asthma, so uh, I do apologise for that. Um, yes, yeah, very, very nice, very nicely laid out. Let's get the figure out. I'm, I'm actually quite speechless just look at him playing in the box to be honest with you. I'm going to get him out and uh, have a better look at him. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at this figure. Um, looks really nice. Yes, um, other people have said the tailoring on the jacket is fantastic. I really like that um, chain effect. Uh, it's actually got a clasp on the top of the chain there. Um, the studs on the back look fantastic. They're looking, you know, all there. They're all present and correct, thank goodness. And uh, the patch on the arm looks great. Um, nice khaki trousers. 
the bracelet thing on the boot is um, plastic. It's not metal. I was, from all the pictures I was looking at, I thought it was metal, but uh, just a soft plastic that goes around the, the boot there. But uh, it looks nice. Looks like a good effect. No complaints. Um, let's have a look at the guns. I want the 45 long slide with the laser sighting. Oh, here it is. Looks very nice. Um, it's got a, like an actual sort of red um, effect there, but uh, sadly you can't point a laser, <laughs> laser at anything. But the gun looks really nice, so I'm going to have him posing with this. The Uzi 9mm. Yeah, we've got that, yes, the Uzi 9mm. There it is. Very nice, looks really cool. Really nice attention to detail given on these guns. Now this gun here is the uh, Ithaca 37 and uh, he acquires this pump action shotgun uh, in the police car. So um, the one gun that I suppose is omitted from the gun shop is the 12 gauge auto loader. But uh, I can't remember if that came in the, the um, second Hot Toys figure, the battle damaged uh, Terminator one, I don't know. but. Uh, it might come along with a, um, the police shootout version if that gets made. But it's still a very nice gun. And uh, I, I guess they made this one to go with the um, damaged head. <clears throat> okay, we've got all the um, tools he uses, all the medical tools he uses um, to do his operation. We've got the valuable uh, wrist pegs that come with it. Um, We've got the nifty little arm where he does his operation. Looks uh, really gory and bloody. Very nice. I've got really unnatural lighting here because, well, uh, unfortunately it's the best I can get at this time. Uh, the, it actually looks a lot red and it, it looks more natural uh, in, in hand, but um, there's his damaged head. And there you go. It looks uh, more jam like the blood here, but uh, yeah. I think it looks fantastic. Um, haven't seen any mods yet turning this into the police uh, shootout scene, but then again, you've got to try and get some uh, decent gargoyles to go with it. Yeah, the gla they're the glasses, of course, that he wears in the police shootout scene. <coughs> Let's have a look at the hands. There you go, extra hands with the gloves. One for the gun, I assume. And uh, the other gloves there. And here we have all the Terminators together, um, just to compare what they look like with each other. And uh, they look pretty fantastic. As you can see, the uh, Terminator 1 is taller than the uh, T-1000. And I think... Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that the uh, Terminator 2 looks slightly higher, but it's so minimal, it's not even worth getting worried about. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, look great. Um, I think the fig figure's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, can't be more happy with it. As I said, um, this figure is available at 1.6 Bruce still. Still can't believe they're still in order, so you need to go out and grab one now. Um, I'm pretty near 1,000 subscribers. And uh, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who watches my videos. Um, and who's subscribed and who's my friends and who just watches my videos. I, I just do this to, you know, share my love of movies and movie collectibles and, um, you know, it's really nice. I've met, met a really nice group of uh, people in this uh, movies and collecting community. So, once again, a big thank you to everybody um, who uh, I know out there in the collecting world and uh, DVD collecting and uh, Blu-ray collecting. Anyway. Catch you later, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my video of the Terminator. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom.
ボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボンボン Not quite the same effect、uh, with、um, the kitchen utensils in the background. <laughs>